Hello, good morning all you lovely people. Welcome back to the grumpy old get in the corner on a Monday that is mm, quite overcast really out there, quite dull. So much so I've had to put the light on. Um, thank you to everybody that dropped in on the live on Friday. Um, it was a big help to <coughs> take my mind off uh, events from in the week. Um, yeah, but thank you guys, appreciated that. Now, I haven't been looking around a lot over the weekend, I've been having a bit more time to ourselves here. But what I have been seeing is the channel paddlers keep coming, um, just like we knew they would, you know, despite the promises of we've we'll stopped the boats, the borders are just wide open, and it seems the numbers are increasing, if anything. So, yeah, um, but I've got a little bit more to say on that a bit later in the video. <laughs> but we've got the new fear factor ramping up now, haven't we? The so-called M-pox. I mean, we all knew it as monkeypox, but as this absolute woke culture now, you can't have it called that, so it's M-pox, you know. Just like the channel paddlers aren't illegal, uh, immigrants, they're irregular immigrants. This just propagates. Just changing the word changes fuck all. <laughs> but, <laughs> but, yeah, with the uh, M pox, you know, the WHO, as I said last week, are giving it the big global warming now. Saying that it's uh, going to be reaching the EU, if not already. Um, apparently, there's reported cases of it in this country. Well, there has been for the last couple of fucking years. So that's not a surprise to me or anybody that follows and looks at the information. <laughs> but <laughs> but it just means that if the WHO are putting their bullshit out, then that's the time for me, anyway, to start ignoring it just like I did with the last load of bullshit. But, uh, yeah, it could have reached. It could be here. You know, that's the operative word, isn't it? Could have. Hmm? You know, they've been saying, as I said last week, it's been rife in the Congo for around a decade and places in Africa as well. But now they haven't come up with a cure for it in that decade. Which, if you look at the research, that's how long it normally takes to develop um, a vaccine or something for an outbreak of certain things. But you can guarantee they'll come up with one well, within a few days or weeks maximum for this. So don't worry. It'll be all available. <laughs> Yeah, that's if they don't lock us up in each other's homes so we can't touch each other in public to catch anything, you know. To me, it'll just be an economic lockdown. Nothing to do with fucking medical at all. But moving on. Now, they're threatening, still, to jail people for tweeting misinformation, um, anything that could incite, incite hatred, um... Any racist comments? Uh, but you know, think about it. Mainstream media do that every fucking day. But will they pull them down? Nah, not a fucking chance. The government, with their propaganda, do it every day. Will they be pulled down? Again, nah. Even though they spread fear and propaganda, which is what they're saying you shouldn't do. Quite a bit of hypocrisy going on there, isn't there? But be aware. This is a warning. Be very, very aware. Now, we know there's been plants um, on social media for some time now. Disruptors. Some of them are paid. Some do it just for the fun of it. But will they be free, the paid ones especially, will they be free to post anything they want? Doesn't matter what, whether it's hatred, racial comments, and then report anybody that reposts it. 
Because at the moment, it doesn't seem to be a lot of people that uh, are putting up original posts. The ones they're coming after are the ones that are reposting. So just be careful out there, people. That's, you know, that's just rational thinking and free thinking that uh, puts that idea into my head. But it's something to be aware of. So to cover your own ass, I'm not saying what and where and how you post anything, but just think about it before you do. And if you're copying another post, think about and do a bit of research on where it came from. Just watch your backs. Now here's another thought for a, a Monday. Now, I did see a video um, the weekend of arranged protests again. But, think of this. With the corrupt police in the middle. Again. Now, the police have the power to allow or deny a protest taking place. They have the power to say if a protest can be mobile, as in a march, or it can be static. And where and when it happens, they can put time limits on it. So, how come they allow them at the same place, at the same time, for two opposing sides? Now, this to me is absolutely, avidly promoting conflict. They are pushing for trouble. And it is blatantly against what they're supposed to stand for. You know, not that we need any more proof of how the treasonous bastards work. But this just shows again what they're like, what they've been instructed to do. Because looking at most of them, they haven't got the fucking brains to come up with these ideas on their own. But, and also, um, now Herr Gruppenfuhrer Starmer openly said he wants to put things in place to protect women and children on the streets again. He wants to ramp the ideas up. Well, here's the simplest fucking idea for you. Herr Gruppenfuhrer, stop the fuckers coming that are attacking our women and our kids. Instead of jailing people for hurty words, try jailing the people that you do catch, the ones that are reported, the ones that are let walk free from fucking court after they've done these vile offences. Just letting them back on the street again isn't protecting no fucker. Think about that. Right, well, being it's, it's a Monday, I'm going to have to look into a lot of things today, do some catching up with what's been happening, what and where. But, until we meet again, people, as always, stay safe, stay strong, and don't buy in to the propaganda. We've all got brains, we need to use them. Respect people. <laughs>